In this video, we're going to continue with the derivation of the parameters associated with a small signal model for the hybrid, or for the uh, for the um, bipolar junction transistors, the BJTs. We've already done the transconductance and and uh, also derived the small signal approximation. And in that derivation, in the last video, we using a linearization of the exponential function, we determined that the complete I sub C consisted of a DC component or the bias component plus a small signal component where we found then that I sub C little i little subscript C the small signal component in the collector current was equal to I sub C over V sub T times VBE where then again I sub C is defined as that the total base current is equal to the total collector current. And again, we should point out that we're assuming that we're in the active region at this point. So that I sub C is, in fact, equal to beta times I sub B. So I sub B, the total base current, is equal to the total collector current divided by B. We, once again, are going to have a DC biasing component and then the small signal component. Here, again, is the small signal component. I sub little I sub little b then is equal to I sub C over beta V sub T times VBE. Now we're interested in the resistance seen looking into the base of a common emitter amplifier. And as you can see here, that resistance is going to simply be the ratio of the input voltage, the voltage of the base relative to the emitter, divided by the input current. So we can solve then for what's going to be known as R sub pi by simply multiplying both sides by the denominator, dividing both sides by this, and then dividing both sides by I sub B, and we then get that R pi is equal to VBE divided by I sub B, which is then equal to beta times the, uh, the, the uh, V sub T, the thermal voltage, divided by I sub C, the collector current bias current. So we have then R sub pi. Now, we're also interested in determining the resistance seen looking into the emitter. We're going to call that R sub E. And given the reference direction of I sub E, it is flowing out the emitter from relative, uh, or the reference positive to negative. So taking into account the signs and all, then R sub E Again, the emitter seen looking into the, or the resistance seen looking into the emitter is just going to be the ratio of VBE divided by I sub E. Now we start with this derivation just as we did over here, where we've got the total collector current is equal to that. Only now, I sub E, the total emitter current, is equal to the total collector current divided by alpha. Again, it's going to have a biasing component and a small signal component. The small signal component then will be I sub C over alpha V sub T times VBE. So I sub E, the small signal component, is that then, which is equal to I sub E over V sub T, given that I sub C divided by alpha is the uh, bias current. So let's point out here, we are talking about the bias current in the emitter divided by the thermal voltage V sub T times VBE. Now again, we, file, we uh, solve for the ratio of VBE divided by I sub E, and we see that that's just equal to V sub T divided by I sub E. So the input resistance seen looking into the emitter is just the thermal voltage divided by I sub E. Now notice that both of these resistances are associated with this input voltage, VBE. R sub pi is equal to VBE over I sub B, and R sub E is equal to uh, VBE over I sub E. So if we solve both of these for VBE, we'll have R sub pi times I sub B, and over here, we'll have R sub E times I sub E. Both of those are equal to VBE. Or in other words, R sub I times I sub B is equal to R sub E times I sub E. 
Now if we solve this for r pi, we have then that r sub pi is equal to r sub e i sub e divided by i sub b. And noting that i sub e, writing it over here, i sub e is just equal to beta plus 1 times i sub b. Substituting in here for i sub e, we get then that r sub pi is equal to r sub e times beta plus 1 times i sub b over i sub b, the i sub b's cancel. And we have now a relationship between the input resistance seen looking into the base and the input resistance seen looking into the emitter. And we can write it explicitly as r sub pi then is equal to beta plus 1, beta plus 1 times r sub e. In other words, the resistance seen here at the emitter we can think of it as being reflected into the base being multiplied by that current gain term beta plus one. We'll find that this is a useful um, a useful relationship when we come to creating the hybrid pi or the small signal model for these BJTs.